Well, I have my new 200 watt soldering iron from China or wherever this came from. It's 29 bucks. And it's got a nice large uh, copper uh, copper uh, edge. So it's going to work well. I can I can pretty much melt all three solder points on this MOSFET all together. So this should this should go pretty easy. Hold it with uh, some sort of pliers because it's extremely hot. Let's see here. Does this work? It's hard to get all three still, but. Uh, Maybe I have to flip it upside down. It's not working. <coughs> Very good for me like that. <coughs> Pardon my cough. I do have bad allergies to pretty much everything, so that is why I cough, not because I am sick. I get a lot of comments on my cough. There we go. We got. Let focus. Anyways, I got one of the uh, input MOSFETs out that down I'm gonna go for the other one Let's see I can bring you guys down to see this a little bit better zoom you in oh it's the other way okay we're gonna go for this one gotta be careful not to touch these battery terminals below me there will be a big spark oh yeah this this so I think it works fantastic. Wow. Look at that. Hokey. I like this thing. Seems I have no problem with this solder. Plus the, the wide soldering uh, uh, tip makes it very easy to get these out. And there's another one out. And we'll get the fourth one out on this side. I just go back and forth, back and forth until it eventually uh, pops right out. There we go. We got four out. Put this down for a sec. I really like this uh, soldering iron. Gotta say, maybe I'll put a link to it in the description, but. Uh, that's that. Look at that. So, I pulled them all out of here. Um, what happens is, uh, if the output shorts, it completely dead shorts the input side, kills all the FETs. And these little resistors here on the board, I don't know if you can see that or not, um, but there's two little resistors here uh, per MOSFET. And if your MOSFET's gone, there's a good chance these are gone. You gotta test them. Uh, I asked them to send me a total complete build uh, from a Reliable Electric, and they sent me a complete build, rebuild pack. Uh, I paid for the components, and they came with these little resistors. So if they are shot, I will replace them. If they are not shot, I will leave them. That's just the way I'm gonna do it. Just because they're resistors, they're not something that's crazy, like that does a lot of work, like the. Uh, like the MOSFETs. So, now we gotta take this heat sink off. And I'll be replacing all these MOSFETs as well, these two. So, I'm replacing in total uh, 12 MOSFETs. Uh, 8 on the input, 4 on the output. And I will be testing these diodes. I don't know if they've gone bad or what. Uh, but yeah, anyways. This is just screwed on here, so I'm not going to bore you with the, the unscrewing part, because all it is is a screwdriver, but once you get this off, we'll get back to recording. Actually, I decided to do some recording here, um, just because I'd like to mention that each and every one of these that I've taken off so far have been torqued quite well. Like, nothing's loose, I'm not having any 
like I, I don't have any fear of this not heat sinking to this heat sink. They're all, they're pretty tight. Sometimes I, I have a hard time uh, actually loosening them. So that's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Just taking these off here. They make a nice little ting sound when you loosen them off because they're so tight in that aluminum heat sink. We'll see. See if we get a working inverter when we're done here. Anyways, until next clip. Okay, now we're on. We just uh, took the heat sink off. We're going to start taking these MOSFETs back off. Or off for the first time in this case. Oh yeah. Nice hot soldering iron. careful with these batteries here. <coughs> a little bit close, but at least with it angled the way I have it, it shouldn't, uh, well, wait, this soldering iron is nice. Yep, so far I'd recommend this thing for 29 bucks, folks, folks, for doing this. It, like, boils the solder. It's almost too hot. There we go. But, man, does it take these large, uh, MOSFETs off pretty well. Got to be careful if you not don't have uh, your soldering gun hot enough. You don't want to pull the trace off the other side off with your um, MOSFET. There you go. Uh, insulation board fell off. Last one. Okay, carefully put that right there. And here you go. And we got dropping them again. Let's go back. There, we got all of our MOSFETs taken out. These are pretty expensive. Um, they can be up to six dollars a piece sometimes um, Depends on where you get them and who makes them, but as you can see now All the MOSFETs these are the input MOSFET or output MOSFETs sorry, and these are all the Input MOSFETs. They're all out all out all the way around and uh, They're almost ready to install the new MOSFETs, but I'm going to start testing uh, these little resistors, see which ones are shot, which ones are good, and by doing that I'm gonna test the resistors they gave me and uh, see if they measure the same, and if not then I know they're bad, and that's how we're gonna do this. Anyways, I'm just gonna I test the resistance of one of these resistors first off camera, and then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna test it. Now, I don't know if this shows up, I think it does, but these little suckers, there's a ton of them in here. There is uh, 16 little resistors in here. And at worst case scenario, you got to put these on your board. So, doing inverter repairs is a pain in the butt. Anyways, let's get to it. So we're going to go through these uh, resistors together. You can see on here, we have... 0.557 I don't know if you can see that point uh, 0.55 yeah you should be able to see that okay then the next one right beside it has 0004 that looks right next MOSFET resistor 0.557 so these are these 
Resistors are looking like they may have survived, at least the ones I've tested so far. <coughs> yeah, we're still looking good. We're still looking good. Are these the output resistors? I don't know if they read the same. We'll see. We got 0.845. What's the next one read? 0.846. That looks alright. Um, so 0.846. Good. Good. 0.846. And then what about these other ones? This one's got 0 0.002. Um, which one is this one? Zero zero two. Zero zero two and zero zero two. Okay. Now I'm just checking this resistor. I don't know what value they didn't give me replacements for this one, so I take it it most likely doesn't go. Alright, see. They added what they did is they added uh, a second resistor in parallel. With this other one, maybe they're having problems with that resistor blowing. But uh, I don't think these resistors are bad. So I'm going to turn the board around <coughs> and check the other side. I still haven't uh, checked the actual uh, resistance on the new uh, resistors right here. But uh, from what I remember on the other inverter I repaired, it's these readings are very similar. So. Let's go like this again. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I think you can. <coughs> okay. So we got this resistor is. Hold on, I gotta be able to see it too. Let's see. We got 0.552, that one looks alright. 0.55. Five, 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 five. Now let's try these other ones. Point zero zero four. Uh, point zero zero four. Oops. Zero zero five. And point zero zero five. Looks like we're good on the resistor side of things. I'm gonna check these over here just to see what these read. These are something else, completely. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. We're getting all the same readings, pretty much, on these resistors. So I'm thinking the resistors are okay. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm not going to replace the resistors. I think we're going to leave them for now and give it a try. It, uh, when I replace them, I'll put a very limited current on the input so I don't blow anything up. But uh, yeah, I'm going to replace also uh, this input this uh, control board and this one as well because this one has uh, some circuitry on it for the pure sine wave side and this one is for the voltage on the display and stuff but for some reason they seem to go now we're attempting to replace this board here I'm raise you guys up so you can see a little bit and this board has many pins right here I gotta unsolder them all so what I'm gonna do so I'm just going to run my soldering iron up and down as I gently pull down and uh, hopefully it just comes out easily enough. Usually I put these in with a solder pot, usually. Come on, come on. Oh, getting there. Kind of running my board up a little bit because the soldering iron's so hot. There we go. And we got it out. Let's see how the board looks on this side. Did it do any damage? Nope, it looks like I'm all right. That's good. Now we're going to move on to this larger board over here. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm gonna try and take it off here. Without doing any damage. <coughs> so, same thing here. We're gonna run up and down here to take it off. You guys aren't gonna be able to see it very well. Maybe I'll change the camera's angle so you can see it actually. 
One second here. Okay. Now you have a better angle. At least I think you do. And we're going to attempt to <coughs> get this board out. I don't know if this board is bad or not for sure, but uh, chances are it is. So this is what I'm going to do. Just slowly, gradually pull it out one little step at a time. Got to get into a position here where I can actually pull it out. It keeps uh, dropping on me. I don't want to damage anything on the board. So I'm going to use this water bottle to prop it up. Too hard because I don't want to wreck the trace. It's almost completely out. Only a couple uh, traces are holding it, and there you have it. Got the board out, and uh, got to remember which way you had it in. So when you put it back in, you get it the same way. Anyways. Lucky for me, I got everything on video, so if I ever forgot, I can go back to my video.